Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Even though Day's Sales Outstanding calculation is a simple process, it isn't that easy when it comes to calculating DSO for a large set of customers. Since DSO calculation involves accumulating a huge amount of customer data, creditors might end up making mistakes if not dealt with carefully. Then how, as a credit analyst, would you ensure accurate DSO calculation? Microsoft Dynamics 365 offers a simplified dashboard to calculate DSO for multiple customers. The tool aims at helping credit practitioners to update their customer balance statistics in just a few clicks. In this course, we would discuss how DSO works in D365, how to update customer metrics, and an example of a DSO calculation of a customer. So first, let's begin by understanding the basics of DSO calculation. Now, let's understand what is DSO. Days Sales Outstanding is the average number of days taken by your customers to make the payment after the sales have been made. It is often determined on a monthly, quarterly, or yearly basis. DSO is calculated by dividing the total amount of the accounts receivable during a given period by the total value of a credit sales during the same period, and hence multiplying the result by the number of days in the period measured. Now let's understand what the DSO figure tells us. A high DSO implies that you're really slow in collecting your payments from your customers. This means your outstanding receivables are more than the sales you have made to your customers. If this continues to go on, you might have to borrow money to run your business. Whereas a low DSO implies that you have a good collection policy and have a decent cash flow in your organization. But if a DSO is too low, this might mean that you're not making a good amount of sales based on the number of customers you have. Now, let's take a look at the various applications of DSO. DSO tells us about the number of sales we have made during a particular period. Apart from that, it also helps us to assess the cash flow in the organization. Now, looking at some other applications, DSO also helps us to determine how quickly the customers pay, how efficient the company's collection department is, and also helps us to figure out the credit worthiness of a customer. So, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you were able to understand the basics of DSO calculations and how to configure it in D365. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos from Hayako.